Allison Bennett. Today I'm going to show you how to play Big Gun by ACDC. I wanted to do an ACDC song as Malcolm Young just passed away. He was the rhythm guitarist and he co-wrote all of ACDC's music. Uh, the song has an intro, a verse, and a chorus. The guitar solo is really long. I'm not going to get into it today. All right, let's take a look. So first I'll go through it slowly without talking and I'll play the whole intro, which you'll also hear this riff in the chorus. All right, here I go. So we start with an E5 open power chord. That's the open sixth string, second fret, fifth and fourth string, they do a bar here, strumming the sixth, fifth and fourth strings twice. Rest, so stop the strings from ringing out. Move your first finger to the third fret first string and do a bend. Next, the fifth fret second string and third fret, second string. Back to the fifth fret, second string, pluck it twice. Back to the third fret, second string, and do a slide. And you're sliding and letting go as you slide. You don't want to end up on the second or the first fret because that would sound like that or would not sound right. So, so far, here's what we've got. All right, here's the next part. Starts back on the E5 twice. Then back to the first string, third fret, bend. Fifth fret, second string, twice. And then third fret, another slide. Uh, third fret, second string. And then you're gonna do the fourth and fifth strings open. And then the sixth string, third fret. And that's, a, uh, you can barely hear that note on the recording. It's a 16th note, it's really fast. And it goes right back to the beginning. And so that whole thing repeats twice before going into the verse. Next, we'll take a look at the verse. It's based on a blues form like many ACDC songs are, and it's got three main parts. Here's the first part of the verse. I'll play it slowly. <laughs> So I'm doing some light palm muting with my right hand so that the strings don't um, ring out too much and kind of bleed into each other. So just very touch, very lightly touching uh, at the bridge with the pinky side of my palm. We're gonna start with the sixth string open, then the seventh fret, sixth string, third finger, then fifth fret, fifth string, first finger. Next, open 6th string, 5th fret, 6th string, 4th fret, 5th string, open 6th, 3rd fret, 6th string, 2nd fret, 5th string. So, so far we've got going to go back and do the open sixth fifth fret sixth string fourth fret fifth string and then back this way to the open third second so again this is part one of the verse and it actually has two sections and we just covered the first one 
We repeat the entire thing in this next section, except for the very last part. So for the last one, instead of second fret, fifth string, we're going to the second fret, fourth string and strumming an A5 open power chord. That's the fifth and the fourth strings together. So the last one is just adds a little bit more tension. All right, so this whole section is in the key of E, and I should actually mention mention that in the intro, this is repeated. Um, so before the vocals come in, this part is repeated twice. Then the vocals come in, and it's repeated again twice. Uh, then we're going to go to the second part of the riff, of the verse, and it's like the same exact thing, but on the fifth string. So that time, we went instead of the fourth string, here, we went to the third string and did an open D5 chord. And that uh, part in the key of A is repeated, uh, sorry, is not repeated. It's just played once. And then we go back to the E riff and that's once. All right, so I'm gonna take it from the top of the verse when the vocals come in. Here I go. part of the verse. It's like the turnaround part. Don't let it be wrong. Don't let it be right. I'll play it first without talking. So we start with a B5 power chord on the second fret, fifth string, fourth and uh, fourth fret on the fourth and third strings. I'm gonna strum three times. Then remove the third and fourth fingers and bar the first finger on strings five, four, and three and strum twice. Then put your fingers back down on the power chord and strum twice. Then take it off and strum it twice again. We have um, three, and then two, two, two. Then you're gonna do a double hammer on back to the power chord. So you're hammering back on with your third and fourth fingers, strumming strings four and three. And then do a pull off. Actually, you can strum the fifth string too. Doesn't really matter, either way is fine. So here's this whole part. All right, if you don't uh, wanna do all that, you could just do a B5 for the whole time. Like that. Uh, it's just a little bit easier and it doesn't make a huge difference. And then next we're going to an A5. So that's open A, fifth string, and then barring on strings uh, four and three, second fret. Hitting strings uh, five, four, and three. Then we're gonna go to a G5. 
So it kind of looks like a G chord, but you don't need your first finger down. You're on the third fret, on the sixth, second, and first strings, and you want to mute the fifth string. So with your second finger, instead of using the tip of your finger, press more on the pad of the, of the finger, which will then uh, make your finger kind of lay, lay over the fifth string. And then you're going to strum all strings. Then heading to a D5. It looks like a D, but without your second finger down. First finger on the third string, second fret. Third finger on the second string, third fret. Strumming strings four, three, and two. And then back to the A5, and you're going to strum that three times. So from the first A5, it's A5, G5, D5, A5, and then two more at the end. And for the rhythm for this part, I, I would just listen to the song because the, um, the vocals and the guitar are kind of in sync ryth rhythmically. Next, we'll take a look at the chorus. It's just like the intro, but there's an added part at the end. Here's the whole chorus. I'll play through it slowly without talking. So it's the intro riff again. Uh, however, on the second time, instead of doing that open fourth, fifth to the uh, third fret sixth, you're going to do this riff. So that's starts on the fifth fret, fourth string, seventh fret, fifth string, fifth fret, fifth string. And then do a slide on the seventh to the fifth fret, sixth string. Quick one. And then land on the third fret, sixth string. All right, so, so far it's. And then go to the fifth fret, sixth string. Back to the third fret open, open 6th string, and then end on the 7th fret, 5th string. So again, really slow. And that's the whole chorus. So that's it, Big Gun by ACDC. There's lots of tabs for this online. I found mine at sheetmusicdirect.com. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time.